Psychic Focus at PsychicFocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is Foreign Accent Syndrome. So I had never really heard of it called this before. I was aware that this phenomenon did happen so it was kind of interesting to realize they've actually put a label to it. The question is, hello Lynn, what is behind Foreign Accent Syndrome? Where people have an illness and wake up speaking with an accent from another country or actually speaking another language. Does this reflect a past life? So, I love this question. And when I thought about it and I was reading on it, what came to me was there's two causes of this foreign accent syndrome. In both of the scenarios, the person looks to be very weak or even almost near death. And what happens is, is when you're weakened like that, when your physical body is weak, there's a very low vibration occurring within you and it allows you to become very close to the other side they always talk about this veil between being living and then crossing over into spirit and i get that that veil is very thin and your vibration is very low so when your vibration is low i get that residual elements from a past life, especially if there's trauma, can enter into your current physical 3D body. Once the person recovers, their body sort of locks what that trait is or that newer characteristic in. And I also got that it might not just be an accent. It could be a food preference. It could be an aversion to maybe a smell. It could be uh, even your eye color might change slightly. You can have these subtle differences that might not just only be with regard to language. In the second scenario that I saw, I got that the person is still in the weakened state. You have this low vibe um, thing going on with your body. And what can happen is their guide or maybe there's a spiritual healer in spirit that comes in to offer healing and those energies mesh and they kind of work in this harmony in order to allow that person to heal. And when they become stronger and they become healthier, again, it kind of does this lock effect where that physical body gets locked and the traits that have entered into it are stuck for a lack of a better way to describe it. So this might involve, maybe you have a memory that's not familiar to you, your taste change, physical characteristics evolve or morph into something else. So there's two different ways that I see that this actually happens. I get it's a pretty interesting thing to witness, but for the person experiencing it, it can be very, very confusing. The cool part about it is it can be a huge clue into discovering who they were prior to who they are now. And it's most often either that or a link to their spiritual connections out there. Very interesting, interesting topic. So thank you for whoever put that out there. And again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Take care. Bye.